Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video was sent to me by a subscriber. I really appreciate the content that you just sent me. It is an epic piece where a sovereign citizen gets owned by a judge, and it is quite hilarious because just like any other sovereign citizen, they think that they know the law, but it turns out they're quite ignorant about it everything that they think they know. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. On the two cases um, set for today, he was representing himself. We found him competent uh, to represent himself, but apparently over the weekend something happened and he's in custody. Is he set one th today? 130 docket. Hold on, time. But there... I saw you had um, done a order revoking his release, but I couldn't find where we were appointed or if he was continuing to represent himself. I still want to rep represent myself. Well, you know what they say, a man who represents himself in a court of law has a fool for a client. And you, sir, are one of the biggest fools out there if you think you can uh, win this case on your own. So, yeah, go ahead and do it, and let's see if you actually have the, what it takes to win this case. But you know what? Given from what I've seen of the rest of this video, you stand a snowball's chance of hell in uh, winning this case. And also, um, does this court recognize the Americans with Disabilities Act? I got no idea what you're talking about, sir. I'm being held at the jail, and they're not recognizing the Americans with Disabilities Act. That's between you and the jail. That's what, that's Am I in your custody, Your Honor? Huh? Am I in your custody? Yeah, you're in custody. Am I in your custody? In my custody? Yes, no, sir. I am a judicial. I don't have anybody in my custody. There's a separation of powers. The executive branch is one who maintains in custody. If you want to represent yourself, you need to educate yourself. Yeah, if you don't realize there's an actual separation of powers and, well, distribution of uh, labor within this kind of system, then you definitely need an attorney. Because if you can't even be bothered to understand that, how the hell are you going to be able to understand the law to begin with? I mean, the law is a lot more complex than that basic bit of knowledge right there. So yeah, get yourself some help, dude. But now we have attorneys appointed to represent you. Great. He's set for our, his information has been filed in these cases. All right, Mr. Thompson, you understand at any point in time that you can ask to have an attorney appointed to represent you? I understand that, sir. All right. And it's up to you if you wish to have one. I can appoint one uh, at any time uh, that you ask. Uh, do you still wish to represent yourself? Yes, sir. All right. We're here today on the case number 2230. 36. Madam Clerk, if you'll print out the copies of the information for him. Yeah, I guess we need to arraign him on those. I believe he had a warrant out for his arrest, and he got arrested on some new charges also. Yeah, it kind of figures that this soft hard would definitely have a uh, warrant out for his arrest, in addition to being here in court and everything like that. I mean, it's just par for the course for these smooth brain soft tards to have a uh, warrant out for their arrest, because, you know... They think they're above the law. Your Honor, can I just put it on the record that the, uh, the jail is not giving me my, med my medication? You just did. Thank you. All right. You've received a copy of the information. Was information filed in both cases? All right. You prepared to enter a plea at this time? 
I'm not, sir. I'm I'm here to challenge jurisdiction. Well, of course you are. You wouldn't be a sovereign citizen if you didn't attempt to challenge jurisdiction, even though, uh, yeah, you'll lose that every single time because you have no idea about what jurisdiction is all about. I mean, you do reside within that uh, particular area that you were uh, arrested in, you are within that uh, particular jurisdiction, so therefore you are under that jurisdiction, and you are a United States citizen, so therefore you are under the jurisdiction of the United States justice system. So don't even try that, dude. You'll lose every single time. Challenge it. I'm here on special appearance to challenge jurisdiction, sir. Challenge it, then. Do what you do. What you want to do. Hey, Softheart. Uh, the judge is giving you the floor, so take this time to use a uh, cogent argument to plead your side of the case and try to convince him that you are not within his jurisdiction. If you can't do that, then well, you don't have a case to begin with. I'm here on special appearance to challenge jurisdiction, sir. Challenge it, then. Do what you do. What you want to do. Uh, okay, well, I'd like to see uh, uh, the police officers' bonds, uh, everyone involved. In I am case. going to deny your right to represent yourself based on the comments you're making at this time, unless you want to get on a plea of not guilty, no contest, or you want to stand mute on the charge. I'm not putting up with any of the, of the sovereign citizen stuff. So I'm, not, I'm not trying to sovereign citizen. Sovereign enter a plea. You've been charged by way of an information. If you want to represent yourself, represent yourself in the correct way. I'm denying your, uh, whatever, what was it, uh, contesting the jurisdiction, I'm denying that. So enter a plea. If I, if I enter a plea, I'm just... Dis enter a plea. You can stand mute. You can enter a no contest plea. You can enter a guilty plea, not guilty plea. I'm in dishonor. If, if I, there's no controversy. I don't, I don't, there's, I'm not denying any of the facts of the case, Your Honor. Then what are you... Is there a remedy? You're at a payment now. This is when you enter a plea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the defendant has stand as stood mute, which is the same as a no, as a not guilty plea. But I'm finding you for standing mute because you're not entering a plea. Uh, has he got new felonies pending or are they all misdemeanors? Uh, the 233036 is a felony case. He, so he was out on bond in pick up a misdemeanor case all right, we'll study for October 16th at 9 o'clock for an arraignment. At any point in time, sir, you can ask an attorney to be appointed to represent you, and I'll appoint one, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Hey, legal genius. Uh, I think the best thing for you to do in this particular case is actually get yourself a uh, public defender because, well, you are clearly ill-equipped to handle this kind of thing. Uh, both education-wise and, uh, well, mentally for that matter. I mean, it couldn't hurt you to uh, seek help. I mean, there's no shame in it. Everybody needs help uh, from time to time, especially people like you. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.